going. Uh, some quick stories for you. There was a raid in uh, Tobique. That's an area in um, our eastern uh, section of the country. Ross Purley says First Nation Band sees an RCMP raid on tribal relief as an attack on sovereignty. Listen to these punks. Tribal relief, of course, it's R-E and then capital L-E-A-F. This is on the CBC website. And uh, they tried to shut down a native-run dispensary. <laughs> God. Ross Perley says tribal relief, which opened in July, is 51% owned by the band and has the full support of band council as a pain management center. Hey, they don't have opioids in there. We are sick and tired of doctors and pharmacists shoving opioids down the throats of our people paid for by Health Canada, he said. So this is a way for people to get the medicine they need to try and live happy, peaceful lives. That's right. That sounds like a pretty good plan. What could have been the problem? Pearlie said the marijuana can help people in the community with medical conditions such as cancer and post-traumatic stress disorder, as well as those trying to kick addictions to opioids and other narcotics. And the band's share of revenue goes back to the community, everything for programs for youth and assistance for the elderly, something that is very difficult to obtain from the official Canadian government, to helping the unemployed and finding jobs and infrastructure projects. It's only been a couple of months, but Pearlie said the initiative has been good for the community. In other words, most people want it. In other words, that's the reason the government wants to shut it down in this sham of what we call a democracy. And that's why there was such a strong show of support during the police raid. About 100 members in several vehicles blocked officers from leaving for a number of hours. It was peaceful and no weapons were involved. But the situation was delicate. The search and seizure by police was viewed as a disrespectful attack. Oh, God, I can't imagine that from some cops. On the band's sovereignty, luckily me and my counsel were able to negotiate the safe release. Basically, we avoided a full-out conflict and crisis in our community. And they did that by telling the government to go away. Hurley declined to disclose any details about the negotiations, but did say charges against three arrested employees were dropped. We strongly believe in self-government and self-determination. Thanks. We regulate and license our own gaming, our own alcohol, and our own tobacco, and our own marijuana, and we do it efficiently. So you can tell this guy's not in government if he says he's doing it efficiently. The RCMP, who say they won't be ready for Canada's new legalization plans. The RCMP contend the dispensary located on Route 105 in northwestern New Brunswick is illegal. <gasps> Heavens. Gives a shit what the cops think. No charges have been laid and in the investigation is continuing. Spokesperson Corporal Julie Rogers Marsh said, Police are trying to determine who is supplying the shop. And I would try to determine, why don't the police sit the hell down and have a snack and then go bust somebody that's doing something illegal? Pearlie de declined to disclose the identity of the supplier or the names of the other part owners because he didn't want them to suffer the wrath of the law either. Good for him. All I'll say, he says, is that we have the educational capacity and sophistication to do proper quality control and regulation. He said the RCMP, why would they focus on a marijuana dispensary when the community is struggling with narcotics such as opioids, fentanyl, and cocaine, particularly when the federal government is expected to legalize recreational marijuana by next year? People are sick. They're dying on these other drugs. And for us, that's what the RCMP should be focusing on. Yes! If you're listening to this as an RCMP member, please call in and tell me why this is okay to do. These folks have been asking them to do something about it. They've done absolutely nothing about the crises, and instead they go after the cannabis. They're fucking idiots. When you have the support of the leadership and you have the support of the community to raid other real drug dealers, and you're not doing it, and you're wasting your time and your resources on something that's supported by leadership and by the community, I mean, it just doesn't make sense at all, he says. She, couldn't, she said she couldn't speak about other Enforcement efforts ongoing. There are different investigations at different stages. At different stages, yeah. Well, you know, stick to the fentanyl. 
stick to those opioids. And when you find them, look at the label on it and see where it came from and then went to the place that made it, go to the place that made the stupid thing and charge them with it. Why are you charging everybody? <laughs> Why are you charging everybody with this kind of thing? I don't understand. I mean, I do, but I'm being facetious.